a live cicada in their mouth. Oh, we got him. We got him. Woo! Ooh. This is the Mondo. Ah, yeah! Oh my gosh. This is so difficult. Turning around. Oh. Sponsored by Keeps. More on them later. We are doing something a little bit different today. Out on the kayak, we're gonna be fishing a lake in New Jersey. Beautiful cloudy day, and we're actually doing a little competition. I have a pretty big tournament coming up, so to brush up on my competitive skills, I am gonna be fishing against my buddy right here, Rar Fishing. Yo, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? Doing well. All right, dude, so we are doing a top water challenge today. Tell us about the rules for today. All right, so we have three hours and we'll be fishing only top waters to catch the largest bass. All right, so the largest bass is gonna win and a loser, whew, I think you should just show them what's oh, yeah. gonna happen, the punishment. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Let me go grab it. <laughs> <laughs> you scared, bro? The loser is gonna have to hold a live cicada in their mouth. How many seconds? Let's, let's not go crazy. How many seconds do you, you think? You said 10, so I'm gonna stick with that. Oh, you can stick with 10? <laughs> All right. 10 <laughs> seconds, loser has to put this in their mouth. You don't look very happy about that, Jimmy. No, so I'm allergic to just lobster. Okay. okay. If you happen to lose, bro, just make sure you don't chomp down, okay? Oh, there's something moving over there. Look at this, guys. Look, this, this lake is popping. Something's moving right over there. This is absolutely crazy. This is looking very grassy. I mean, I'm gonna have to take a look at what you got tied on here, Jimmy. I hope, that, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Jimmy's got tied on right here. Two different frogs. These are very unique looking frogs, actually. Beautiful color patterns. We're gonna get, uh, we're about rigged up. So uh, we're gonna head out and let the fun begin. All right, Jimmy's heading out. I'm gonna get rigged up real quick. Jimmy was telling me some information on this lake. Shallow and weedy on this section right here. Then towards the main lake gets a little bit deeper. I'm thinking that we definitely need a frog tied on, on one, on, uh, one rod, then the other rod. I'll probably just put a snap so I can be flexible and change quickly. But we're gonna try to be relatively quick here because time is of the essence. I don't wanna be munching on no cicada. The water looks pretty stained. Probably had some rain out here yesterday. Cloudy. You now we're gonna have to pick something that's gonna stand out pretty well. I'm gonna go for straight black. Let's start with that. We are about ready to roll right here, guys. I have not been in a kayak in a long time. Hope there ain't no black witters or black brown recluses out here because that would not be fun to get bit by that. We're gonna launch a boat in here. I'm in it, baby. We are in it. We're in it to win it, guys. Woo! I'm in it, Jimmy. The challenge is on here. I'm just gonna go explore around, see what I can find. All right, we're gonna start fishing right here, guys. Ah, grab the frog. That first bite's gonna tell us a lot. I'm just gonna focus shallow. See if we can make something happen here. Lock down the drag. And we're just gonna drag the old filthy frog across the shallow grass. We got him. Oh, we got him. We got him. Woo! Dude, it's just a chunk. Get in the pack. Oh, let's go. Woo! Don't fall. Don't fall. I'm standing up on a sit on top kayak. Woo! That's how we start today, bro. Woo! All right, let's turn around. Ah, this, what? Oh, well. Oh. This thing is not. Whoa, 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 whoa. This thing's definitely not the most stable. We can make it work, though. Pull up the scale. All right. Woo. Oh, turn around. Whoa. 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 Ah. Whew. I'm gonna zero the scale, bro. Make this, we're gonna zero the scale. All right. Make this official right here. Tear it. Zeroed. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. Official weight is gonna be locking in at 
exactly 2.53, exactly two and a half pretty much. Oh, nice. All right, we'll take that. First blood right here, man. This oh. looks like a uh, quite a good lake, I must say. Oh, dude, you don't Let's let him go. Know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's some good stuff here. So wait, you don't think that's gonna win the competition? Oh man. Since the storm is rolling through, I don't know how bad the wind's gonna be. Okay. Since you have first blood, it's already, you know, you're up, you're up there. Yeah. So. We've barely been fishing, and both the bites I had were quite good. So this is uh, this is turning. This is gonna be a heck of a day, I feel. Ooh. Dude, I'm standing, but I don't know about this hook set, though. I don't know about setting a hook like this. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> this will definitely be interesting. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, back to back. That's what I'm talking about. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is the Mondo. This is the Mondo. Ah, yeah! Yeah! We'll find out! Oh no, he just freaking chomped it. He's deep throat it. Hold up, let me get some pliers. Dude, right here guys, 2.75. All right, Mike, good luck beating this guy right here. It's been a windy day, but I got a tank. All right, off it goes. I think I throw anything by this wind blown side. There's a lot of freaking panfish uh, beds right there, right? The wind blowing there, and I wasn't even at the edge, and that freaking fish landed. Holy smokes, this is it. Before we get back into the action, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Keeps. If you don't know what Keeps is, it's a subscription service for male pattern baldness. It makes it easier and more affordable to get treated. Start right now, prevent hair loss before it gets bad, save your hair. You can see a real doctor with an online consultation, automated shipping delivered right to your door. If you guys didn't know, two out of three men will experience some form of male pattern baldness throughout their lives. My uncle suffered and he's been using Keeps for over a year. He's had some amazing results. There's a reason why Keeps has had more five-star reviews than anyone, any of their competitors. If you guys wanna save 50% off your very first order at Keeps, you can go to keeps.com slash one rod, save that money, get started now. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash one rod. Get your subscription right now, save that beautiful hair. You'll thank me later. Let's get back to the action. We are heading towards the main lake right here. And what I'm thinking, you know, it's cloudy. You got a little bit of wind, stained water. I think we went to throw in the buzz bait, guys. Throw that around a little bit, see if it makes something happen. We're definitely gonna stick with black. The question is, do I go 3 eighths of an ounce or half an ounce? And you know what? I'm gonna go with this 3 eighths ounce buzz bait right here. And uh, I already got a trailer hook. I think that might be key or to catch any short strikers. There's really no reason to not fish a trailer hook on a buzz bait unless you're fishing around a really wooded area or something like that. This will help you catch probably 33% more fish or so. Make some cast in here without falling. I'm gonna try out this new pattern and you know, if it doesn't work, we can always go back to the frog. We are 40 minutes into the challenge, so we've got some time here. We can definitely experiment a little bit. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh my gosh. I'm st oh, he got off. I couldn't set the freaking hook because I'm standing on his dumb, sitting on top kayak. Whew. Disclaimer, I definitely do not recommend that you stand on top of a sit down kayak. Definitely a heck of a leg workout. But good news is guys, I think I just figured out a key piece of the pattern. A very key piece. We'll see if I'm right. Hey, little guy. This is not gonna help us, but at least confirms that what I'm doing is not terrible. Woo! Buzz bait, man. This fish will also confirm that the bass are indeed hanging out by the cover right now. 
I'm gonna break down my pattern a little more for you guys, but first, we're gonna catch another fish. There he is. Oof. Yep, we're on him now, guys. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. This is so difficult turning around. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I almost fell. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I don't know if that, that fish is still on. <laughs> this one's not bad. I would doubt it, guys. This is that's game over. Uh, getting the yak, man. Oh, on the trailer hook. Woo! On the very bitty trailer hook. We got him. Uh, there's two good things about this fish, guys. Number one, it's confirmed that the pattern that I'm currently running, I think, is gonna get me the dub. And number two, I've also found the limit at which I can tilt over on this kayak without falling. If I had gone any further, I would have went, in, went into the drink. Uh, this guy's just over two pounds. It's not gonna help us for this big fish competition, but a beautiful fish. Thank you, my friend. Jimmy, you heading back there? You heading back to the uh, thick stuff? Oh yeah, thick thing. All right, well. You know guys, I am actually gonna slightly change my plan of fishing cover. The wind's picked up. We're gonna try something completely different and hopefully it pays off because I don't wanna eat no cicada. All right. We have less than one hour left in this challenge. I'm gonna make a key bait swap right here. Go for the Hail Mary. We're gonna use a walking style bait. Cloudy, still pretty cloudy. Let's go with the bone one knocker right here. Give this a shot. See if we can catch a nice three or four pounder. Mm, yes, nice fish. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my gosh, it's a monster dude. I knew it. We've got like 20 minutes left. Oh, we gotta land this fish. We've gotta land this fish, guys. This is the one we need. This is, oh, this is definitely, oh, definitely. Oh my gosh, it's a Mondo. And the, oh my gosh, get in here. Oh yes, he's stuck in the weeds. He ain't getting away now, buddy. Oh my gosh, we can't both flip him. We can't, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah! 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 Oh, I was just drooled. I freaking drooled, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That's a freaking bucket mouth. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, okay, you guys, this is my biggest bass, that is my biggest bass of 2021, that's a five pounder baby, five pounder to end the day, look at that, 12-12, less than 30 minutes to go, we're going to tear the scale, now we are going to attach old Mondo here, to the fish clip and we're gonna get an official weight straight up right there 3.93 just under four pounds not the five pound mondo i thought she was but let's take a look at her if we look at this fish look at it look how beat up she is hold on i'm gonna switch cameras real quick put it back in the water here she is let's take a look at her before we let her go look how beat up her tail is completely worn out fish look at that all battered and bruised. I mean, she's had a rough spawn, that's all I can say. I'm gonna let you go, big mama. I hope you made lots of babies, because pre-spawn, that's easy five pounder. Easy five pounder. <sighs> Thank you, my friend. Oh, there she goes. Woo, that felt good. We don't know if we won, but we've definitely upgraded with that fish. Fishing competition is all about making adjustments, making the right moves, and most importantly, you need to have confidence 
in whatever you're doing. You don't want to just be bouncing back and forth between a million different baits and a million different spots. You want to have a set plan in mind and stick to it. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So if Jimmy pulls out a five pounder and we go out back and I eat that cicada, then you know what? I gave it my best shot today. I fished the conditions in the best possible way that I felt for this 1v1 topwater challenge. We still got 30 minutes to go. Who knows, maybe we'll upgrade again. For walking style baits, I like fishing a bone color on cloudy days, then a reflective metallic color on sunny days. I'm imitating a bait fish, so you can't go wrong with a whitish belly. And as you guys can see, we are no longer fishing the bank. We're about 70 to 100 yards off the bank. I'm just making some casts to this. There's actually some isolated vegetation around this area. I'm, I've parked my kayak in some isolated vegetation because otherwise the wind would blow me away. Then what I'm doing is I'm just fishing this bait quite slow. Twitch, twitch, pause, making these twitches very deliberate and slow. And what I think is going on here is that a lot of these bass have just finished spawning. That one obviously finished. And post-spawn bass, they like to slide out into the deeper water and rest and recover for a little bit. And that big mama saw a nice easy meal hanging on top of the water and she couldn't resist. So we're gonna camp here until the challenge is over and I'm hoping I can catch another good sized bass or two from this ex exact same area. We are back on land and now we are going to grab these cicadas right here and head over to my friend Jimmy aka Rar Fishing. So dude we were doing big fish challenge today. Jimmy outfished the heck out of me. How many fish you catch today dude? I definitely caught over a dozen. I got about he got about double me. I got about six of them but I got the right bite. That's what counts. I am not gonna have to put a cicada in my mouth. So my friend I will let you go ahead and uh <laughs> Do your thing right here. Unfortunately, let me take a look at this first. And then, oh geez, this is my first time seeing the this this style of, of <laughs> what, what kind of cicada this is. I, this is Rudex. I don't know. It's a 17 year cicada. That's all I know. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have it around here. Gotcha. That doesn't look good. All right. Well, gotta do what I gotta do. Oh no no no! Ew! It's making some sort of vibration noise. Yo, look at this. You hear it? Yeah. Oh, it's He's screaming. He's screaming. You're gonna be hearing that in your brain, dude. Oh, oh, I might just. You got it. Dude, that's impressive chopstick skills. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. You guys see this? Here it goes, dude. I'm not gonna make you do the full 10 seconds. Just get it in your mouth. I'll be impressed. All right. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> he's got it in about three, four, oh. five. <laughs> you still got it. He's still going for the record. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. <laughs> he's still alive. He's still alive. I didn't chew. But no, listen to this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Was it making that noise in your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> Hear this thing? It's crazy. Right there, guys. Oh my gosh. Hey, props to you for that, Jimmy. Uh. You're a good sport. Oh yeah, he's gonna Asian wash it drink. down with uh, an Asian drink right Let's here. Let's go. I'm gonna try one too. But that's gonna do it for me. If you guys wanna check out more of this fun action, definitely go over to Jimmy's channel. I'll have that linked down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.